Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So I hope everybody is doing well <clears throat> and staying safe. I am doing uh, really good today. Um, so first off, I'm always going to ask you, <coughs> excuse me, to uh, please subscribe if you have not already. And check out all my tutorials. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of crochet tutorials, anything that you could ever want to make and multiples of them. But today let's talk a little yarn. So I got some yarn from my favorite yarn company that is small yarn company that is located within the United States. You and if you know me, you know who it is. It's Little Knits. I love Little Knits. So <clears throat> it's the best place to go to get great deals on high-end yarns like Noro and, and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I have some here, and then I have some in this box that I don't quite remember what's it. I don't remember. I don't know what it is. But anyways, so I have some Nora I wanted to show you. This is a Nora that I had never seen before. It had cashmere in it. So, um, I thought this was a beautiful color. And I bought... Did I buy enough of it? Yes, I did buy six hanks of it. This is the name of it. I can never pronounce Noro. <clears throat> now, Noro is made in Japan. But I've never seen this one. And it's always almost... I, I don't... I've never seen a Noro yarn that wasn't a roving style. So, roving is like this. It's like a one ply. It varies in weight from uh, thick to thin. But this looks like it could be like a bulkier... So this is 65% wool and 35% cashmere. It actually feels really nice. You can really smell the wool in it. <clears throat> now, even though it does have cashmere, which is a softer wool, it does have regular wool in it too. And you can tell, but it's still nice. Um, I would wear it against my skin, but I actually bought it to make it, try to make a cardigan out of it. Out of it. I thought the striving effect might be kind of subtle with those colors right there. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's uh, it's it's really beautiful. I love roving style. It's so pretty. It's 250 meters, so you got about 280 yards probably per, per ball. Now they classify this as a medium weight number four, and that very well could be since it's a roving. It does go from thick to thin, and that is just the nature of the roving. But it is a very thick four, if it is. It probably does level out at a four, but as you can see, it gets, it gets bulky to a little bit thinner, to a regular size four, to a thicker four, but that's cool. I like yarns like that, so um, this is very, very beautiful. Um, it is um, going to be hand wash and lay flat. Oh, it says this right here, the name of that. I try not to pronounce the names of Nora yarns very much because I don't want to butcher them and I can't. Um, uh, it means elegance, grace, and refinement. Oh, it's nice. But anyways, the color I have here is called Color 4. And I have enough to... I have enough to make a... I'd probably make a... I don't know... A cardigan or a pullover or maybe a three-quarter sleeve top something like that but they would be for a fall project and I just now Noro being self-striping sometimes their stripes can be a bit um, um, they're really unorthodox I can't uh, they a lot of times have no rhyme or reason that's that's kind of how Noro is it uh, embraces that uh, wabi-sabi um, celebrating the beauty of the imperfections so uh, that's what uh, Noro does. So the striving effect can be quite, uh, you know, irregular. And, you know, that's, I like that about it. But sometimes when some of the colors they put together, uh, this, when the striping, it just doesn't appeal to me. Uh, but uh, sometimes they're absolutely gorgeous. And I think this is subtle enough that it's, it's going to be beautiful. The colors, anyways. I'm anxious to see what the striping effect, effect looks like on that one. And then I did get one more ball of it in this color to make myself a hat. It's very much my colors. I love that. That one is beautiful, isn't it? You see those uh, orangey yellows in there? 
and the browns. So I'll make a hat out of that one. I love it. It's so pretty. Mm, nice. Okay, let's open this box here. Let's see what we got up in here. I can't remember. I can't remember. These came at different times, so. I love little knits. It's just, I do. I like them a lot. <gasps> oh, I remember now it's Malabrego. I love Malabrego. Do you guys like Malabrego? Um, it is my, uh, fourth favorite of, a, of the high-end yarn. If you consider it high end, I would consider it more of a higher end yarn. Um, it is number four on my list. I like it a lot. So they had a, a Noro sale going on. Um, not Noro, Malabrigo. They had Noro too. This was at a, this was uh, I bought this a little bit. They probably still have that, but anyways, look at this. So they had um, some of their. Uh, Malabrego worsted on sale and then they had another variety as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open so we can look at the beauty of the Malabrego. Oh Malabrego is so pretty. Now Malabrego comes in all different varieties. My favorite is Malabrego's Rios but my second favorite of the Malabrego's is the worsted and that's what variety I have here. Oh gosh. It, sm it's, it, it smells just like Malabrego. Malabrego smells like uh, vinegar. It's part of their dyeing process. Not off-putting. It's not strong or anything. It smells absolutely wonderful like fresh dyed wool. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? So that is gorgeous. Look at that teal. This is more of a teal green. That is beautiful, beautiful. Wow. So the worsted variety, like I said, is my second favorite of the Malabregos next to the Rios. It's 210 yards, 100 grams, 100% of Merino. It's very soft, very, very silky, silky, squishy. It's squishy. Yeah, squishy soft. I like a butter. So the only difference between the Rios and the um, uh, worsted variety that which I have here is the worsted is roving, and the Rios is applied. Now I do I like roving; it's my favorite. But there's just something about the Rios being a it just is I think I like it. I prefer it over this one, but I absolutely love this one too. Don't get me wrong; I adore it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the color I have here is color one o six. Now these were eight ninety nine a hank. Now that isn't that's oh that's good. That's at least fifty percent off. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe how much are these things? I don't know. I see them at different prices. I think they can range anywhere from fourteen to twenty dollars, depending on where you're buying them from um, or where you find them. But anyways, so, um, I got three of these green ones. Gosh, those are pretty beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Oh, and they have this, look at this beautiful one here. This is the worsted variety as well, I think. Garden Gate, that's the color of that one. Ooh, -hoo. my camera's moving on me because it's plugged in. I'm hitting the cord. Look at that. That is like a bluish gray. That is so beautiful. Like, It's almost like a periwinkle gray. I can't explain that. That's very, very pretty. Um, yeah, Garden Gate. So I got three of those. Same specs and everything as, as the other one. 210 yards. These are made in Peru. 100 grams. Yeah. Oh, these are uh, kettle dyed. Uh, merino hand wash and lace lad, of course, of course. So three of those. And then I got three of this color. Look at the, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the next pack. The next pack. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I got three of this color. This one's called... Why do they have the same name? Garden Gate as well. 
but this is garden gate maybe it's got the wrong tag i don't know but it's it's variegated see that see this <laughs> i don't know why it says the same name but yeah garden gate and this one's garden gate i mean i guess they would go well together but this one's solid and this one is a variegated both are very beautiful it's almost like this one has a wrong name on it or they could just be the same name but one's variegated and one's because they you know you could put them together in a project it looks like they have the same color it looks like this color is in here doesn't matter doesn't matter they're both beautiful my 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 look at these i got some more malabrego worsted and boy oh boy are these my colors look at this one look at this one holy crackies brown brown i love brown Woo, that's beautiful mm, that smell of i could smell i could pick out the smell of a malabrego yarn from a mile away it has a very distinctive smell i said that of uh, vinegar but it's not off-putting it's just the way it smells it smells good to me it's like a vinegar wool mix like it's the dyeing process this is collar 181 8.99 a hank what a killer deal it's so soft okay this brown i'll definitely keep but wouldn't it look good with this one or even this one even better with the blue you guys like brown and blue or do you like brown and green i just like brown in general <laughs> so i got that three of those i'm not sure why i only picked up three uh, but I got three of these as well. <laughs> these are all still the uh, worsted. Um, this one is called Dark Earth. Very, very bag o' day. And yes, these would be the colors I would put together. I'm not good at putting colors together. That's why most of my projects are either <laughs> solid that I make tutorials on or striped that I have color controlled or I'll use a gradient yarn that's already controlled for me. But sometimes, sometimes I'll put colors together. I don't know if the blue's working well with that or not. Definitely. Okay, that's the... Oh, oh, I remember now. I got one more color here. Look at this one. I love pumpkin rusty colors. Not quite as much as I love brown, but pretty, pretty close. Just a couple, couple notches down. It's one of my favorite colors. The color of this one, this is the worsted as well. Um, is called Red Java 79079. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 You know why I say yes to this? Because I got enough of these to make a sweater with. Or whatever I wanted to make, cardigan or something. So I got, uh, how many of these did I get? Let me look at my sheet here. I got 12 of them, and they're 210 yards a piece. Is that what I said? I forget. Yeah, 210 yards, and I got 12. Wow, I got plenty enough to make whatever I could ever want to make out of it. And all the collar lots will match from... Um, um little knits and if they don't they email you and ask you and they'll tell you like um i bought from them a lot of times and um they'll email me sometimes and i'll be like hey um but th we don't have enough of the dye lot of the color that you want but we have some that's a different dye lot and they'll tell you whether they think it matches good or not and you can tell them if you want to proceed or not but otherwise, they always match. And if they don't, they'll definitely tell you. So, um, what should I make with it, guys? What should I make? 
Not this is just 10 more of these so I can make something big. What would you like to see out of this? This is so pretty. You know, I didn't get, even though this one is probably my favorite, I didn't get 12 of these because I have a couple brown card, uh, cardigan or uh, uh, cardigans that I'm already going to be making for this fall. So I didn't want to overdo it on the brown, even though brown is my favorite. I'll probably make a hat or I'll make a shawl or do something with that. But So I thought I would do a different color cardigan that was still one of my favorite colors. Well, cardigan, do you think I should make a cardigan or a pullover um, or something completely different with these? Like I said, I got enough yardage. Um, I'm over 2,400 yards. Is that right? That's a, wow, that's a lot. I don't know why I bought that many. Huh. I really bought that many? I did. Uh, that's more than I'll need. But hey, I got I can work cables though. I have enough now. I can make something with a lot of cables. Yeah, that takes a lot of yarn. So I can make something beautiful with cables. That's always fun. I mean, I enjoy crocheting with cables. There's so many different cables you could use. You let me know in the comments what you'd like to see out of this. Remember, it's so soft. Ah, it's beautiful. What's your favorite out of these? Uh, mine's a brown. You know, dark brown. Uh, maroon, whatever that is. I'm calling it maroon, but it's dark. If that even says maroon, I don't know what it is. Here it is, 181. Color 181. Uh, it just looks like uh, it looks like a inside of an M and M, doesn't it? That's gorgeous. I'll probably make a hat out of this and a scarf. Um, I got six six hundred yards. That's funny for me to make a hat and, and a scarf. I could do it. Hat with one, scarf with the other two. That's probably what I'll do with that. Um, the other ones, I have no idea. I'll probably look at them for a while. And then, um, <laughs> I don't know. Give them away or something eventually. Or uh, do something with them. But yeah, let me know what you'd like to see out of this. Remember, I got plenty to do anything. Preferably not a blanket, though. Yes, preferably not a blanket. I think a cable sweater would be pretty, or a cable cardigan or something. And this is a four weight, so. I don't know why I thought I needed that much yardage. Maybe I was thinking cables. See, I buy, I, sometimes I buy this yarn with an intent in mind, and then I forget what the intent was. Could have been cables, because I do like them. Anyways, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. I really love <laughs> every single thing I got. This is a hat for me. Now, is, even though this Noro has cashmere in it, it's still not in a soft. That's a Malabrego. I love the Malabrego. And I love the Noro, don't get me wrong. I think this is going to make a very unique whatever I decide to make out of it. Uh, maybe I'll make a pullover or something. Maybe, or like I said, a three-quarter sleeve top. It doesn't necessarily have to be a cardigan or a sweater. But something fall winterish because it is wool cashmere i can make a wrap out of it you know something like that i mean that would look pretty cool too so yeah if you have any ideas for any of this yarn in the comments let me know i'm always up for looking listening to your ideas and i value got your guys' opinion so thanks for watching i appreciate it all right i'll see you guys on my next video keep a lookout for my next uh yarn unboxing or mystery box unboxing next tutorial got quite a few of those uh planned out for this fall um and I'll see you later. Okay. Take care. Bye guys.